And we are back here. Wait a minute now. Here's a pin. One, One two. two. No, only two cars. We're saying there is five versus Beelzebul the Cloud. I'm going to will advance in the tournament to take on either Nacho Hogan or Paul Barber. And now we're in here. Beelzebul laying in the forearms into the back of fire right here. And now we're in it. Beelzebub now is on the offensive look at this, he's picking him up and slamming him down into a spine buster. And now it is all all Beelzebub on offense now. And now wait now Beelzebub showing why he is dominant here. He's a big dominant superstar here in HCW Extreme Friday nights. HCW Extreme for short. And now wait a minute now. Oh, and there's a kick. And oh, there's another kick. He's working on the legs, grinding and pounding. And now wait a minute, speaking of ground and pound, look at this, he's laying his knees into the head of Beelzebub, trying to maybe concuss, you know, concuss the, the, this big clown, I don't know, but wait a minute now, fire a submission specialist, locking it in here, is he going to try and make him tap, well, is he going to try and make him tap, no, Beelzebub kicks out right there, and, oh, and he gets a form into the back right there, and a big headbutt, a humongous headbutt right there, and now it is an Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Beelzebub, is he going for a snake eyes here? We're not too sure. Yes, he is. There's a snake eyes. And wait a minute, there's a chop. And there's a punch. There's another punch. There's another chop. And there's another punch right there. Slamming. He's beating down. Now he's trying. Is he he's biting the head of fire? He's doing it again, but right there. He's biting the head of fire. And a big jumping leg drop. Wait a minute here. Now, as I was saying, the winner will qualify to the next round of the tournament here. And there, now fire is on the offense here. Fire there laying in the knees yet again, trying to work down on Beelzebub. It's working in the knees. Now, wait a minute, look at this, and there's a kick to the face. Drops Beelzebub down to the mat. And there's another kick. Oh, and there's another kick. And there's another kick. And there's another kick. And now he just rolls him over into a snap mare. And bolts over into a splash. One. Two. two. No. Only a two can there be Elsbob. It's like barely got him. But wait, there's look at this. An Anaconda Vice locked in. He's gonna try and make him tap here. An Anaconda Vice. Is he gonna try and make him tap his Bill? But no, Bellsbob does not tap yet. Does not tap. He's not giving up yet in this fight. Beelzebub, oh, it's a big shoulder barge right there. Now Beelzebub, oh, there's a locker. What's he doing here? Oh, and a big headbutt butt to the head of Fire. Fire trying to try to make Beelzebub tap him out again with an anaconda vice, trying to make him tap out. But Beelzebub was having none of it here. Now Beelzebub gets reversed by Fire. Oh, oh, and a big running leg knee, a big running neck break there, spinning neck breaker. And now wait a minute here. Oh fire, it's going up on top rope here. And he's torn to the fans, getting some fan appeal. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is he going? Oh, wait a minute, look at this big clothesline! A humongous clothesline. Oh wait a minute, now he's locked in the arm kind of by shit again! He's locked it in again after the clothesline. Bills the bubble is tapped out! Bill's Bubba is tapped out to fire here tonight to the Anaconda Vice and fire has advanced here in the tournament folks. Oh my god. It's unbelievable but the fire has advanced here tonight. But not only that, after this celebration, we're going into Nacho Hogan taking on taking on Paul. It's gonna be an impressive match folks. We've got fire advance, maybe else will tap out in the middle of the ring after a flying close line off the top row. Fire advancing through. And here we go, it is the last tournament matchup here tonight. It is Nacho Hogan. Yeah, Taking on Paul the Rock Barber, a former two-time OFW champion and a former RCW champion. I believe a former one-time or two-time, I'm not too sure. But he's held titles in both OFW and RCW. And he is now coming back to try and reclaim the OFW championship. 
Well, a lot of controversy has happened with Adam and Paul because Paul got a cheap roll up victory over Adam last weekend. Paul has been gloating and showing off about it ever since, saying that he has beaten the likes of Adam in LW. But I'm just saying. But now he's got to go up against Nacho Hogan, who has not been doing very well recently. Been on a pretty much a losing streak for a while. He's been on a really bad losing streak, and you know he's come out with his new attire and he went to war games and he lost a ladder match. He then went last week and then he lost his match again uh, against uh, Scott Race for the Hardcore Championship. He's been on a really bad losing streak, but right now coming down to the ring, always liking to keep his fans waiting because he's such a big head like that. It is Paul Barber and here he comes and wait a minute, look at this, he's got a new attire here, a new attire right here, he's got a brand new attire right here, and he's just coming down here, coming down here, there was a time in RFW where he would be in a main event spot all the time, he would be in title matches every CPV. Now he's pretty much been working his way back up since his past injuries against Mark Hawkins at Anarchy. Working his way back up to the top. And it, I think he sees Nacho Hogan as a stepping stone here. Because Ray, Nacho Hogan's been on a losing streak. But the things don't never underestimate Nacho Hogan. He may be already he's, he's a veteran of the ring here in HCW. But he is a very strong guy and a very quick high flyer. He will fly over the ropes and do things that are just mind-boggling I mean, we've seen him do a lot we've seen him dress up as Santa Claus that was a uh, Christmas special so anything is possible with Nacho Hogan I mean that's what I'm saying he'll be going against a former right here he's a former OFW champion a former two-time champion and a former RCW champion and then Paul the Rock Bar, so it's going to be really interesting to see this matchup unfold here tonight. I mean, Paul with his new attire here, you know. And now here comes the Ben, and right now, here we go. And look at this Paul working straight on the arms, the technical background of the Barber family here. And now, we're in, now there's a lock up. Arnie goes into a Russian leg sweep right there. Looks in a look at Russian leg sweep, and now he's just laying in the stumps here, laying in the kicks. Now, wait a minute. Oh, there's an Irish whip. Oh, Samoan drop right there. Among the Samoan drop, and now there's another kick. And another kick. Now, Paul's laying in the offense there. Paul's on offense, and there's an elbow drop. Oh, and another kick to the stomach. And wait a minute now. Oh, and there's an elbow to the face. And now, what's he going to be doing here? Oh, there's an Irish whip. And a Samoan drop again. A second Samoan drop of the match right here. And a big jumping leg drop right there. Nacho Hogan has not had no offense here yet in this matchup. And there's a second leg drop. And now wait a minute now. This could be what Nacho Hogan needs. Yes, he turns it around into a roll-up. This could be it. One, One two. two. No, only a two count. Now wait a minute. Nacho Hogan. There's a chop. And a second chop. And a third chop. And there's a punch. And a fourth chop. And a reversal. Now, wait a minute now, look at this. Reverse atomic drop right there. And a backdrop right there. A big backdrop there. And now she's telling Hogan to bring it here. Now Hogan slowly getting back up. And an Irish whip into the turnbuckle. And Nacho Hogan reverses though. Lays in a punch and Paul is down. And there's an elbow drop. There's a kick. Now wait a minute here. There's a lock up. Oh, and a big body slam right there. And there's a pin. One, One two. two, no, only a two count right there. And Nacho cannot believe it. And now, wait a minute, he's going up on top rope here. Is he going up on top rope? Yes, he is. Now, wait a minute, what's he going for? A moonsault, and he connects with the knee. He badly injured knee of Paul, which got injured at Anarchy. And, oh, wait a minute, here's a roll up. The same roll up that pinned out of one. Two! No, only the two count right there. And then we have there's an Irish whip to the turbo hook and a drop kick. Oh and a I'm looking at it now. Oh and another drop kick. And now he's just laying in the kicks to laying in the kicks to Nacho Hogan. 
we win it folks we need to be right back we will be going to a break in a minute folks this match will continue after the break it's Nacho Hogan taking on Paul Dorak Barber stay tuned this match will continue